Hello, I'm Michael. Welcome to Pamenuri Studio. Today I joined forces with Boskaiola and we decided to show you something completely different than Urushi. Uh, flexible nibs. Flexible nibs on three different pens. One German, one vintage American and one Japanese. Uh, completely different styles, maybe not in the case of uh, two of them uh, in terms of looks, but in terms of writing, it's something different. One vintage nib, two modern flexible nibs. Enjoy and let me know if this is something you want to see more. I switched the microphones for the moment to let you hear how it sounds on paper. It's not extremely smooth, but it's okay. The nib on this pen is called Expression Nib by Montblanc. And as you can see, it flexes quite well, but it's quite stiff. So it's uh, it's got good feedback, but it's you need to use some more pressure than with vintage flexible nibs. If not pressed, if not force is used, it writes like extra fine. So the line is very thin, uh, but pressed, uh, it goes to over two millimeters. Ink used is Pilot Hiroshi Zukubis Hamonten from 100th Anniversary line. And here goes the second pen. And it's Pilot. It's Pilot Custom 743 with flexible nib called by Pilot Falcon and marked with FA. The nib here is slightly modified. It's uh, matched with a custom ebonite feed. As original feed, which was ABS or plastic, was a little bit too dry. And it skipped if pressed too much and with faster writing. Ink is the same. And as you can see, it flexes almost as good as Mont Blanc, but both for me and for Yola, uh, this pen is slightly more, it's more pleasure in writing with it. And the last one is vintage Waterman 3, a celluloid pen with much smaller, uh, but, mu but much more flexible nib. The pressure which is needed to flex it from fine to triple B is like 50% of the pressure needed for Mont Blanc. shape of nib on this pen was quite surprising for me because it at the first moment it looks like posting nib so it's slightly bent downwards the tip of the nib but it works beautifully And as a writing sample, a line from Hall by Allen Ginsberg. I'll zoom in to show you a little better. But in a moment we will show it from a different angle.
and steel waterman leather field and very good writer but the problem with vintage pants is that they especially flexible ones and very wet ones that they are they might be uh, leaking maybe not uh, leaking from unpredicted uh, areas but uh, it can uh, leave a lot of ink inside the cup if shaken or uh, put in the bag or something like that so it's not very practical as say all rounder or everyday carry. I switch microphones from time to time to let you hear how it writes. I like it. And now back to Pilot. Pilot Custom 743. It's got 15 nib, so the Pilot has different uh, sizing of nibs than European nibs. We know like number two, number five, number six nib, but Pilot uses five, 10, 15, 20, 30, and 50. The only pen with 50, num number 50 nib I know is uh, Pilot Emperor, Namiki Emperor. It flexes slightly less than uh, the Waterman nib, but it's not that maximum flex, maximum line width of this pen is smaller, but it needs slightly more force to flex it. Uh, so in fast writing, Waterman gives much bigger line variation. And now back to Mont Blanc, Meisterstück, 149 calligraphy with expression nib. You probably saw it skip, it happens with this pen, but you can also see the places where the feet touches the paper. So if you press it too much or hold uh, with a low angle, uh, it can happen. And that's it for today. If you liked it, please let us know. We will make a little bit more of such content. Bye.